Block up wa block out wax around the framework. We want to make a custom tray attached to the framework so that we can make an altered cast impression in the patient's mouth. So I like to use this uh, triad custom tray material. It has uh, nice fibers in it and it cures in just a few minutes. We like to uh, create a piece about the size that we need. So you should cut it like this. Cut a couple pieces like that. And that's pretty much what we're going to be using. And we take it over here and lay it on here. And right now it's like extra big. We're going to to cut some of the excess off, gross excess, like that. So I want it to press into the framework so it'll hold on. And then I have it go over all of the edentulous area. I want to make sure that I cut it shy of the adjacent tooth. So that it won't get into the undercut of the adjacent tooth. And then I want to cut it shy of the vestibule by about two millimeters. Now I'll try this back on and make sure it's shy of the vestibule everywhere after it's been um, cured. But I'll give myself a start here by cutting this away. So as you can see, the shape of the wax doesn't matter so much. The shape of the tray needs to be two millimeters shy of the vestibule. So I'll have room for my border molding in the patient's mouth. So I'm taking the excess away. And so we have some space here. We have this pushed in here and we have it cut away there and then we want to do the same thing on the other side so we'll have a tray on each side after we form the custom trays we're going to play it place it in the triad light curing machine for three minutes and then take it off the cast take all the block out wax out and clean it off and then put it back with air barrier coat put it back in the machine for three minutes and we finish curing Try it back on the cast and make sure that it fits with two to three millimeters of room for border molding. Okay, that's really bad.